everyone! Welcome to On the Path with Jeff and the Prince, the road to nomadic. Hey, you know, today we are going to play with water! Um, I got the new water pump in and I actually found out a way to see if my old water pump will actually work, so stay tuned. I'm back again. It's Jeff, and today we are working on the water pump. Uh, one of the things I am going to be moving in on October 31st, um, October 1st, sorry. And it is now the uh, 12th, and it is <laughs> getting really close. One of the things that has to be working is my water system. And not because I want drinking water, but because I need a shower. So, a way to clean up and get things together. So... What I'm doing, if you look down here, let's see if I can actually get you down there and make folks in. So we're down here. This is my water pump. Okay. So as you see, it goes in. This is the hose that normally goes in there right here. Um, that does have some water in it. So I don't want to, I plugged it up real quick and I got a, a spare piece of hose so that I can try to prime this. And the way you do that is by just dumping some water in there. Okay. And then turn it on. So this is going to be really loud. And what we want to do is kind of manipulate that to try to get the diaphragms to actually open up for us. So let's see if we can do that. I'll be honest with you guys, I actually did that a little bit earlier, and so I know that did not work. Um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on the new one that is right here. But one of the issues is the new one is smaller, it has smaller openings, and it all has to fit still into the system. So yay! And we're going to see how that works and what we're going to need. The first thing I got to do is I have to unmount the old one. And that may or may not be fun. Let's see. And nope, it's square. Oh, fun, fun, fun. I do have that one. It looked like it was uh, Phillips from up here. Give me one second. I'll switch it over. Friends, well, good news. <laughs> Somewhat. Um, I got the screws out. But I don't have a big enough wrench for what I need. So I'm going to have to wait until tomorrow to finish all that up. But while I was doing that, I was thinking, as you see, the new one is much smaller. And actually it has smaller entrances so and exits. So I had to get some adapters. So what I'm going to do is I'm basically going to take the adapters. This is the one for the fresh water that I had. And I have, should have some tape of some sort. It may help in that. So that fitting goes in there. Just like that. So this is going to go into the new, um, the old so supply side from the fresh water tank to the pump. Here. Makes sense? And then on this side, and you can see there's arrows, on this side, I have to connect mail fitting. And I should have that. Yay, handy dandy little thing. So goes into that, into the male fitting. 
we did bring it. We bought a female one just in case. And as you see, so basically this will go on to the rest of the, the pump. This will go into the rest of the system. How that works is that it goes into um, the system that also feeds from the city water. And then you it goes into the hot water system and then pushes back to my... Um, pushes back to my shower. So that's how that works. All right, guys, I'll be back. It always sucks to not have the big enough tool for their job. This is the only wrench I have in the house. And it just so happens is not big enough to fit what I need. Yay. So what I did is just went and played around with my tubing, got that all together. I will call somebody tomorrow and get them to bring out some more stuff. So, to be continued. Put the little one in. Um, I had a couple cords I had to fit. This one goes to the switch. And the yellow one goes to the power supply. Kind of comes back through here. Gets fed into the power supply over here. And it feeds kind of all of our power all the way through. Okay? That big bolt off, um, thing off that we were trying to get off where I didn't have the right wrench. Um, now all I gotta do is hook my actual water hose to the new system. And we are all done. I'll show you in just a minute. And guys, we have success. Watch. It goes from the one side into the other side. And all as well. So all I gotta do is put a couple bolts in and everything should be working fine. I am going to see how it works in my sink. Let's see. That's working. I'm pushing things into the sink correctly. Oh look at that! We have water! And the big one is back here in the toilet or in the shower. And we will have water in there. It's gonna take a few. Uh, we have water in there. We have water, people! Yay! I am very, very excited. So hopefully you guys are too. I will see you next week <laughs> and where you never know what's gonna happen. You guys are loved. I'll see you soon. Folks, I just wanna put a little caveat on here. After I finish this video, I noticed that I had the water pump on for a little while and it started leaking um, around my pipes. Make sure that when you are using your water pump, once you got everything there and it's actually working, that you do not leave your water pump on because then it's causing too much pressure unless you have something open like your faucet or your uh, shower. So just a little tip for you. Thanks so much. I look forward to seeing you guys next week. You are Did you know that I have a podcast called The Creative Nomad? Check it out at thecreativenomadshow.com. And please like, subscribe, ring the bell, and share. Check out True Awesome Clothing Company at facebook.com slash trueawesomeclothes. And know that each and every one of you are loved. I'll see you next time.